so hi everyone today we'll be exploring a very interesting library uh, for reinforcement learning that is petting zoo so basically in my all my previous blogs and vlogs i have been using open ai gym for getting sample training environments and then uh, i applied some state of the art reinforcement learning algorithms to train some pre existing open ai gym environments but there is a limitation with open ai gym environments that is they are mostly single agent games that means that there is just one active player but in case of petting zoo petting zoo basically provides you environment with multiple agents present so it's very interesting the dynamics changes a bit so i have discussed a few algorithms on uh, how to handle multi agent environments i have it implemented it yet i will be implementing it soon also so first of all we'll be exploring this particular library we have multiple games in petting zoo so we'll be exploring all these games as you can see that in the classic section we have chess connect for gin rummy texas holdem Texas Hold'em no limit, so I will be uh, just simulating Texas Hold'em version four uh, right now. This is Rock Paper Scissor. Now apart from that, we have Atari games as well coming in. Boxing coming in, Combat Plane, Basket, Ping Ball, where we have multiple players. So it provides you with a lot of options, as you can see on the left hand side. Pong, Space Invaders is present, Butterfly games, many options are present which involve multiple agents. So we will see through. We will uh, just simulate one of the exam, one of the sample environments, and just see how it works. So in case, uh, uh, so we'll be running through Texas Hold'em version four, which includes four players. It's a it's a basically card game. We won't be jumping into the technicalities, ki how this game is played and all. We'll just simulating it. So it is very similar to create an environment as we do in Open AI game also. So we have set the render mode equals to human. We did, did the same in the Open AI game environment also. So if you provide any value other than human. Human or ASCII, you won't be rendering the particular environment. So we are using human so that we can render the Pi game window. So uh, in the uh, best part about Petting Zoo is that uh, uh, once you are running an iteration, it automatically switches turns to the next player, de depending upon the game. So you don't need to take care of I, like once I have run a particular action for a particular agent, I need to switch agents also. No. So in this case, as you can see that this particular loop for agent in n dot agent underscore return. Once you run an action for one agent, automatically in the next loop and the next iteration of this particular loop, uh, the game would run for the next agent. Present next active agent, then the third. So in case of the card game, the first player will get a chance, the second player, the third player, the fourth player in this loop only. So using this particular loop only, and it is very similar to Open AI game also. So if you have worked with Open AI game or you have been following my vlogs on that, so eventually you can find most of the similarities. So let's run this particular code and let's see how the simulation goes. So here you can see that we have four players, and eventually they are taking their turns. You are having some numbers coming in. So this is a random simulation. I also don't know how to play te uh, Texas Hold'em, so can't give an idea. But just this is to give you an idea how you can use Petting Zoo, and you can render other examples also. That are, as I showed you about Atari, Butterfly, classic version. You have Rock Paper Scissors. You can try them out. You can train your agents, and then let me know.